Today we're talking about the Cafe Double Drawer Dishwasher, and I'm going to show you why you want one and why you don't. Now, this is the matte white version, and the matte white, let me see how well we can get a texture in here. It's sort of soft to the touch. It's not like that old orange skin white appliance. It feels like cotton or linen. It's, it's very interesting. And of course, Cafe always has the colored cusp. They have the different color handles. You can swap these out for any variation. Now, I want to talk about this because you have a large tub in the top. You have the adjustable racks. And again, I want to show you the pros and the cons. Just kind of take an honest approach to it. Number one, this is going to be harder to install, which of course means it's going to be harder to work on. But as far as functionality, it does appear that it's going to give you the ability to hold a lot of dishes. It's going to give you the freedom to do one load at a time or two at the same time. So you could essentially start a load and then maybe you're partially filling up the next tub now these are adjustable and these are designed for cups and i have to say as you notice the bottom of this all right this is our water source if you can see that so these are where the water jets are coming from and i'm a little concerned about how well it's going to get things clean on the upper rack especially if you had something down below if you had something in this bottom blocking where you had some cups you might run into a problem now they have the grooves for stemware but uh, show you this adjustable tines so this is great for a lot in a lot of ways it gives you a ton of room but i'm a skeptic and i still wonder how well is it going to do on the upper level items the basket is very fascinating also and of course you get two of these Kind of an interesting design here i guess you could independently fill this basket and put it somewhere else use this one of course the top comes off of this one it comes with extra accessories as far as the basket tops for your silverware and it seems to go right here and then you've got this extra doohickey right there so a lot of room in this in fact everybody that has looked at this particular unit said wow i could fill it up i could do a lot but again how well will it actually get things clean now as you can see when that's in the uppermost it doesn't like it so by default the position for these is going to be down and then they tuck away they just kind of disappear some are easier to operate than others. So that's one thing. We're dealing with a metal frame, a metal core, plastic components. One of the things that you're probably not going to like about this is the decibel rating. This is not as quiet as a lot of the other cafes that reach down to 44, 42, even 39. Uh, this one's gonna be a little higher. You're going to hear it. So if this is in an island, in a small kitchen, maybe where you have a living room next to it, you probably want to reconsider it. It has several settings, pots, plus, normal, express, china, I guess they're telling us where it was made, rinse, ultra dry, and of course your start button. Now, once you initiate this, let's say we filled it up and you closed it, you know, it, it, once you hit the components, some people say they don't hear it necessarily running in a noisier kitchen, so it will actually lock the door so you won't be able to get it open. And it has a knock to pause feature. So you knock on it, it pauses it, it releases the latch, you can open it, you'll see the water and everything else. So this, now let's look at the bottom. Like I said, it does come with a lot of extra components, some just for installation, others for, I guess, regular maintenance. If some of these things are expected to break over time, some of the plastic components, so you don't have to order them online. This is a smaller drawer down below. Again, you notice that basket can be separate, which makes a lot of sense. However, you may find yourself trying to store components somewhere else. You may have to just kind of put it wherever you can. Also, adjustable tines down below, just like up top. 
Again, it has that doohickey. I'm not sure if that's designed to be able to use for a pan. I don't think it needs the basket weight to give it that corner, but maybe that's their thought. Um, I can't really see the full feature on that. So again, this whole racking system does come out. On the bottom, it's a little more awkward to get out. Same thing, now you notice here, this one's slightly different. Gives you the little plugs there. I don't know if you would use like uh, knives here perhaps, would be my thought. Some sort of silverware where you could lay it out. Also, it has the room for stemware. And this is kind of a neat feature. So watch this, let's do that again. So perhaps you have small saucers going to something larger like pans or bowls. You can adjust it. Now again, that's how it functions. Is that enough to actually get everything clean? I don't know how much pressure it has. Uh, these are stats they don't normally give us. But uh, let's take a look. We're just going to take it apart. Of course, notice this is where... Bear with me. So, there's the screen. This is to trap food particles. Now, some of you may know this, but Fisher Paykel is actually the one that has the patent on this dishwasher. And Fisher Paykel was purchased by Hire back in the day. And Hire is manufacturing all the GE components. And that's it. It's a simple system. I will say it's less to break. I've seen a lot of regular dishwashers have problems where things get in the way up top and they break. Now, I'm not sure how much I like that, how durable that is, but that is the heart of this dishwasher. And of course, this is for maintenance. You're gonna have to pull this out to clean it over time. Not a horrible experience, fairly easy to do. Maybe some people might find it easier than some dishwashers where you have to crawl down inside of it. At least with the drawer, you kind of have the freedom to move it around. Same thing up top, same system. So double motors. This is a double system. It has two of everything. Double basket. So I do like that you would have the freedom to do some large loads. Again, I'm a skeptic. Is it going to do the job? Will it get it clean? Now, there's a few people that have used them online, and there's a lot they like about it. I'm continuing to do research on it, and so far, I like it. I would give it a try, especially for the price point. Now, the controls I'm not as crazy about. It has these controls. You don't get any indicator on the outside. The Fisher Paykel model gives you a pocket handle and indicators and controls on the front. I would like that, but with Cafe, they don't do that. This is kind of their standard install. I hope this helps you, and if you own one, please leave a comment and let me know what you think.